This is a Dell Latitude D630. Uh, it's an old laptop of mine that was overheating really bad. Um, it would only stay on a few minutes and it would get really hot. And I took it apart in the heat sink that I have there in my hands. Um, it was completely clogged. All kinds of dust and junk in there, so there was no air movement at all. And then I discovered that the heat sink compound would had turned to, it was just completely hardened, it looked like chalk, and so it was, um, wasn't conducting heat well, and the heat wasn't getting removed by the fan, so I uh, added some new um, heat sink compound there, and those two things actually fixed the problem. It's probably a combination of the two that um, was causing this, this little thing to overheat, but um, cleaned it up, cleaned the whole machine up really well, and put some new heat sink compound on it, and it um, it works great. It's it's an older laptop. Um, it barely runs. Um, it barely run, runs Windows XP. So I'll, what I'm probably going to do with this is install a light version of Linux on it. Maybe maybe Puppy Linux or Laboon 2 or something. Really light. Uh, it's still a good machine. It still has some life left in it. Um, maybe just a life with Linux. I don't. It would. I don't think it would. It would. Um, you could efficiently run any kind of modern Windows operating system on this thing. But it'll be. Um, it's still it's still a decent laptop. I didn't take a video of me taking this thing apart. I, I wasn't going to take a video, but I figured you know if somebody um, that had one of these and it was overheating, um, this could be the problem. Uh, those two things. Uh, this is pretty easy to take apart. Um, just there's a, a bunch of screws, and it, you know it snaps together more than anything. And not a whole lot of wires. You'll see the wires in a minute. There's some. Uh, I think there's one thermal uh, wire that's uh, for temperature sensing. There's two wires for the Wi-Fi, and there's a wire for um, Bluetooth, which is not even installed on this machine. So not a, not a ton of wires to deal with uh, taking this thing apart. This is the top cover. Um, I messed up here. You're supposed to, it needs to hinge from the bottom. So put the bottom in first and then and then it hinges back and it all snaps together. And then there's um, there's a few screws around the, on oh, this is a CMOS, that's a CMOS battery that I'm plugging in right there. Don't forget that. That would be bad. But uh, there's a few screws around the, the fan area. Uh, I think there's maybe two or three in this area. Um, and then the rest come from the bottom, from the bottom up on the laptop. And I'm going to speed this up because this is just boring stuff. There's the, there's the internal screws. And then... Another one. Now hooking up the screen. That's where, and this. Um, I'm, once again, I apologize for the camera angle. This is ridiculous. Um, but the screw. There's screws that go in the back here that hold the. Um, the screen on and then here's all the um, all the external screws that hold that together too there's loads of them here's the wiring I was talking about um, there's the two the, the two whites on the the one on the left is the thermal wire. The two whites uh, right there, uh, one goes to Bluetooth, one goes to Wi-Fi. Bluetooth's not there. 
and there's a black wire that goes to Wi Fi. There's a black wire and a white wire that goes on the Wi Fi card, which is there in the middle. Um, I just I take pictures of all this when I take it apart so you know how to get it back together. But there's only like four wires. I guess okay, I'm putting the hard drive back in. Um, and I just there's two screws I forgot to tighten. And then that screw is missing, which there's a lot of missing screws in this thing. I don't really care as long as it doesn't actually fall apart. So there's one screw holding the hard drive in. Um, it's amazing how much room that C ROM takes up in that thing. There's the battery, battery going back in. Um, I mean, if it wasn't for the CD ROM, there'd be loads of room. Okay, I've slowed it down a bit just to show you attaching the keyboard. It attaches right there, and these tabs at the bottom, those metal tabs on the keyboard, have to slide underneath that plastic. Then it just kind of drops into place. It looks kind of like it's kind of floaty at the top. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it, I mean, it works. Um, just need to put the screws in. I think there's four or five screws along the top that hold the keyboard in and then once once those are in there's others that card that card slot thing I'm not even sure what that's even for um, yeah you bend the bend the monitor down all the way the screen down all the way and then you can you can attach that back and it just clips into place now I'm, I'm turning it on just to make sure it it comes on, um, but it's working good now. I've installed Puppy Linux, and it's working great and no overheating.